Okay, it's a Vasily Fisk of Fisk and Chernyanko, Metaphysical Detectives. And if you follow our channels, you'll know that uh, various people talk to you about this being the reality game. What is the reality game? Well, the reality game can be described in many different ways. These are what we call reality boxes. They're not different boxes. It's the same reality, but it's different ways of describing it. For us at Fisk and Chernyanko Investigations, we consider everything to be one. One thing, like a towel. And everything that exists, exists on that towel. Part of the towel. That towel is the fabric of the reality, and thus the fabric of the reality game. Why do we have games within reality? Something to do is the best answer. Something to do. What games will you play is a better question. Because inevitably you will be playing a game, at least one, if not more, and sub-games and little diversions here and there. But the big games that you will play are described in the book Games People Play by Robert Drop. Now, at Fisk and Chernyanko, we always know what these games are because we have read the book, the textbook, and if you pick up the textbook, then you will learn what these reality games are. Inevitably, you can get a pricey on the internet that's a short article that describes it, and you don't have to buy the book and read all that stuff. Unless you're a bookworm, and then you might like it for your shelf. But, on planet Earth, the low games predominate. Durop said that the low games are basically things to do with sex, drugs, money, power over others. Those are the games primarily that people on planet Earth play. Some people specialize in the killing game, in other words, soldiers, and perhaps paramilitaries in certain countries that terrorize the residents. Uh, a very common game in Western countries is the householder game, and that game is simply buying a house filling it with children, uh, working at some career until you retire and wait for your inevitable heat death. That is a very common game and it's uh, what everyone's basically born into, so it's a very easy game to learn because you grew up in it and it's very repeatable, so if you want to you know, do it for yourself because your parents did it, then, you know, it's something you already know how to do. The other games, um, you can learn about from the movies, primarily. Uh, Hollywood covers them all, pretty much. Uh, the high games are games that Perhaps people do play in secret, but it doesn't seem to me that a lot of people on the planet play the high games. Now these games, mm, you can go look them up. I'm not going to give you the whole thing in this lecture. You just go look up Robert Durop and games people play, and you can see the other games. The final game, Mr. Durop, maybe he's Professor Durop, talks about, is the master game. And this is the one he recommends you play. That is the whole purpose. Oh, actually, I think that's the name of the book now that I think of it. Maybe games people play is a subtitle, but the main title of the book is the master game. That's correct, yes. 
So look for Robert Durop, the Master Game, for the full information. But the Master Game is a game that someone who might have been involved in uh, one of the higher games called the Religion Game turns to when they find out that the Religion Game is... Uh, Do you remember, like, the artificial sweeteners? There was, like, saccharin, and now there's, you know, like, NutraSweet. But saccharin was kind of, it was sweet, but it had kind of a sickly sweet. It, it didn't taste properly like sugar. Uh, so, chemically, and it was, anyway, the point of the matter was that the religion game was like that. Once you've played it long enough, I suppose it becomes rather boring and uh, very corrupted it imposes certain moralities that you know after due discourse it becomes clear that they're uh, control mechanisms to take joy out of the lives of people so the primary example especially in places like perhaps like the bible belt in the united states uh, the idea is that you can watch and learn gun games from a very early age. Very early, and you're exposed through television and the movies to barbarous murder. I even think back in my, old ch my childhood when Walt Disney was known as a entertainment company that was targeting children, and we had the famous movie Bambi, where the hunter killed Bambi's mother. I mean, if you want to traumatize a child, take them to see Bambi. Uh, you know, that should have been uh, at least restricted to 18 and over. Maybe, I don't know, gross violence and trauma, trauma it should be banned altogether. Ah, oh, but the music was sweet, I suppose. Walt Disney, but that's what they do at Disney. Now I've got an interesting uh, chemtrail thing going on here. So I got chemtrail going this way. And I got chemtrail going this way. And you see I've got X marks the spot right over here. I see these X's in the sky from time to time. I'm not quite sure what they mean. Okay, so anyway, we've got uh, the idea that children are exposed to violence as being normal from very early age, and especially in the Bible Belt, areas that are, you know, very fundamentalist Christian, anything to do with sexuality is completely forbidden. You cannot know anything about it, and it's not talked about in, you know, any kind of company at all. Apparently, pornography is uh, very highly watched in the Bible Belt. So, it's a strange juxtaposition. But that is what it is like, you know, with religious morality police taking the joy of being with other humans and calling it lustful and then promoting violence as being, you know, the way humans should act. And Anyway, that is uh, the religion game. And, you know, the religion game is also tied up into, you know, the money game. Because everyone knows, you know, how much money the Catholic Church rakes in and, you know, centralizes at the Vatican. So, anyway, the religion game is not truly conscious. The master game is about consciousness. It is about advancing your consciousness to higher and higher levels of awareness, knowledge and wisdom. Now, do people pursue this? Uh, hmm. Some do, believe it or not. Anyway, I don't want to belabor this point. If you're interested, you can go and look up the Master Game, Robert Durop, and you've got my commentary on it. Uh, as for the rest of the reality game, I'm going to give you another lecture 
about the reality game.